So you won your commercial solar project and now it's time to manage it. So how are you gonna approach this task? I know what I'll be doing. Hi, I'm Veli from Greenwood Solutions. We are talking commercial solar projects and we're looking at a spreadsheet approach. Now, if you like what you see, hit that subscription button. After watching the video, you'll understand what spreadsheet approach to use, what are the titles and what are some of the filters that you can do to extract that relevant information. Let's get stuck into it. So what is project management? We have to really start off with that concept. So it's the initiating, the planning, the execution, and controlling the closing the work of a team to achieve specific goals. And obviously this has to meet specific success criteria at a specified time. There's always a time constraint. The primary challenge of project management is to achieve all of the project goals within the given constraints. Now we're gonna talk RACI. Now what does RACI mean? Well, the R stands for responsible. So this team member does the work to complete the task. The A is accountable. This person delegates the work. It's the last one to review the task or deliverable. And C is consulted, uh, so that's a consulted party, whether it's the stakeholders and how they are affected. Informed, these team members simply need to be kept in the loop on project progress, but they don't need all the information. So multiple people can be responsible, but there can only be one entity or person accountable. Uh, many people are consulted and uh, less people are informed. Now you can be accountable and responsible. And that, that's an important point to make. Compared to domestic installs, commercial solar projects take a lot longer. There's more people involved, there's more money involved, and the project has more complexities, so there's more things to go wrong. Great. So how do you decrease the bad stuff? You need to be able to list the various tasks into some categories, main categories, some subcategories, the name of the task, ideally who's assigned to it, the answer and the response. Now how do you do that? With a spreadsheet. Now by creating a spreadsheet, all the information can be contained in one area. If converting the information to a table, you can filter that information and you can also create a Gantt type functionality as well, so a Gantt chart. First steps, we need to determine our column headings and we need to start populating the rows. And as you can see here, we've got a legend, a task, an answer, a few other columns, and we've populated them with, um, for instance, task project number is, there's no answer, it was assigned to Andre. Now I've actually created a main category and a subcategory, but you could really drill down and create another subcategory. It just depends on how much information you want to extract from your spreadsheet. Just be aware, don't go overboard. Ideally, we need to determine a numerical legend, very important, which correlates with the steps of the project in a chronological way. And the legend should be constructed so that it can be filtered first to last. By assigning different column headings, we can filter based on different criteria, such as assigned to whom, a major category, or a subcategory. You've opened your spreadsheet, you've actually put some headings in some columns, and then you're gonna run down the side in the rows the various tasks. Now to get more out of this information, you have to convert that range of data into a table. Now with Excel, which I'm using, the process is as follows. Click on the Insert tab, click within the data, anywhere within the data, Click on the table, highlight the data to be converted. I've clicked my table as headers because it has, and then click OK. You now have a filterable table. I wonder if filterable is a word. Filterable, oh, I don't know. This is where you can collect the response from the answer column, either yes or no, or details. You can simply reference an answer in the corresponding row or can trigger a formula that warns or reminds. For example, make sure you file properly the customer name, which is, in this case, John Smith. Conclusion, project must have a start and finish date. 
Milestones, stakeholders must be informed regularly of the process, can use a spreadsheet to make the task of tracking easier. This was part one of a two-part series. Next time we'll look at what other things we can do with this spreadsheet. Thanks so much for watching part one of a two-part series on commercial solar project management from a spreadsheet approach. I'm Veli from Greenwood Solutions. Now, if you have any questions, any inquiries or answers or any way we can improve these presentations, feel free to drop us a line. And if you like what you see, hit that subscription button. Thanks for that. See you next time.